Hello, I'm back. I, as you know, I've been sick. I got hit with COVID. I finally, after two years, I finally caught it. I don't know how I managed to catch it. Thank God I'm fully vaccinated and boosted and it didn't kill me. So uh, I'm feeling pretty, pretty decent today and I'm sorry that I had to kind of abandon everybody for a couple of weeks, but I just needed to take my time and rest and just take it easy for a while. And that's what I did. So now I'm back. And today it's time for a TAT. I got some things I want to talk about. And as soon as I come back, I'll get started. Hey. Hello there. So, the other day, I got an email from somebody, a subscriber, asking me about getting his documentation opistilled. Now, he hired an attorney, he hired Equisist here in Monta, and he, uh, sorry, I just got interrupted by, I forgot to mute my phone. I apologize, folks. Uh, okay, so... The other day, I got an email from uh, one of my subscribers who uh, told me that he hired Equisist to help him with his uh, visa process. He was having some trouble with the Opistil process. I jokingly wrote back to him and asked him, you know, told him, I said, you should be paying me instead of this attorney to give you all this information because basically I'm going to tell him the same thing the attorney's going to tell him. But apparently it was a, a bit of a process and it was a little confusing for him. So let me, let, let's talk about this for a minute. Okay, folks, when you need to get your documentation off of steel for your immigration purposes, it's no, it's no joking matter for sure. A lot of people seem to they freak out over this because they you think it's going to be a real hassle, but it really isn't. It was a hassle for me when I did it because I did it right in the middle of the pandemic, right when it's getting started. And everything was closed. Everything was shut down. They, everybody's working on a skeleton cruise. Couldn't get anything done. But I managed to get it done. Even during the heat of the pandemic, with skeleton crews working at the U.S. Department of State and as well as the Secretary of State, I managed to get my documentation off of steel in time to get my uh, immigration without any delay. Okay. We know, we all know that you have your FBI report is only good for 90 days from the date that it's issued to you. So when you go down and get your fingerprints done and you submit your request to get your FBI report, you're going to get an email from the FBI with your report in it. That's not the report that you want to send off to get off of steel. You want to wait for the, the actual document to come from the FBI. As soon as you get it, take off and go some go to UPS store or anywhere and get it get it notarized. Okay? I don't remember if I was told specifically that I need to get mine off uh, notarized, but what have you got to lose besides 10 bucks? Go get it notarized. I don't know. Talk to your attorney. Ask your attorney. That's really the best advice. You know I don't like to give advice, but I will advise I always advise to people, if you have questions, talk to your attorney. Don't ask me. You can ask me if you want to. I can tell you what I did. Talk to your attorney to, to get the authoritative answer on what you need to know. But anyway, I thought I'd do a little short video, of the, a little video clip of the process of filling out the paperwork for getting your, your, your FBI report off of steel. This is mine. This is the paperwork that I filled out online. I actually did this this morning right here from here in Ecuador and I logged on to the website and I pulled up the form. Well, just watch the clip here, okay? Let's get your FBI report opistilled. Go to a browser, find the right page to go to. I'll start over from scratch here. This is left over from when I was practicing a minute ago. I have bookmarked authenticate your document that is from the U.S. Department of State, okay? Now, the way I found this was I went to Google 
and did a search for getting federal documentation apostilled, something like that. And it took me to this, this website. This is the U.S. Department of State, Bureau of Consular Affairs. Here is the, the address, and I'm also going to put this in the description. Authenticate your document. You just fought, you know, you have to kind of look at the whole screen because when you come here, you won't be on this page. Well, maybe you will too because I'm, I'm giving you the link to this actual page so you don't have to go searching anywhere. But anyway, authenticate your document. They tell you that it costs $20 per document. You need this form, okay, 4194, request for authentication services has expired and includes the previous fee. Please use the expired form and include the new fee at $20 per document. All right, so down here at the bottom of the page is a link to the form. And it's an online form. And it's pretty simple to fill out. You know, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, we'll just kind of go through it as if I was doing mine. All right, Shader, Charles, D. I am a junior. And then, of course, my email address. Uh, dot com. All right. Home phone, uh, 480-433- dum 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 dum. Obviously, I'm not going to put my home phone number out there. Cell phone, I just did NA on mine. Work phone, I put NA on mine. Okay. Uh, case type, if federal agency must be official business. So here you have a choice to select, okay. And you see, I just put individual, okay? Country, now here's where I screwed up on mine. In mine, I put, believe it or not, I put Ecuador. And that's not right. I, I wasn't living in Ecuador when I filled this out. I was living in Mesa, Arizona. I should have put United States, okay? Or you can put USA or US, whatever. And then, my, of course, my formal mailing address, number Easy Street. Okay. Yeah, no, that's not the way you spell it. <laughs> Sorry. All right. And then, of course, I was in Mesa, Arizona, 85208. And then the next section, section two. All right. Uh, you only need this if you're doing this for another individual. So you say no, okay? Delivery method, section three, shipping details. This is for sending the stuff back to you. Or, or no, this is how you're shipping it to them. And you can, no, I'm sorry. This is how you want to get it back to you. The apostille document, you're going to, and you want it done. You're enclosing a self-addressed stamped envelope, okay? And then shipping address can be the same as above, so you don't have to fill all this out. And then down here, section four, this is important. Here again, I put Ecuador in here, and that was a dumb mistake. You can just put USA, number of documents. I had one. My document was the FBI background report. And if you select here, you can come down here, and you'll see FBI criminal background record. Number of documents, one. That's may cost 20 bucks. That's it, folks. That's all I had to do. I didn't have to fill in any of this stuff because I didn't have any more additional documents to fill in. And then, of course, this third page is just your instructions. They say somewhere in here that you have to have a cover letter. And so what I did, I don't have a copy of the one that I did, but I just, I just hand wrote, I took a piece of paper and I hand wrote, you know, to whom it may concern, I put the date and so forth, to whom it may concern, please apostille the enclosed documentation for me. Please see uh, enclosed request. Thank you so much. Blah, 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 blah. Have a great day, whatever. And I signed it and that was it. That's all there is to it. I put this form in a, in a I put this form in a large envelope along with the FBI report. And I put in a self-addressed stamped envelope don't forget to put postage on it, okay? Don't use FedEx. 
folks, don't use FedEx. They even tell you in the documentation, don't use FedEx. And they tell you in the page, let's see here if I can show it to you, that they, we will process your request five to six weeks from the date they receive it. It took seven weeks, I think, for mine to get back. It took longer to get mine back because it's right in the middle of the pandemic and everything was shut down. They had skeleton crews working everywhere, and so it took a long time. It shouldn't take five to six weeks. It might take two or three, but you never know. If it takes six weeks, that's 42 days. That's well within your 90-day limit, you know, for the length of time that you're, or the age of your, maximum age of your FBI report. It can't be more than 90 days old. And so don't panic over this. Just relax. It'll get done, okay? And put everything in the envelope. Put your $20 check in there personal check and send it off and rest and relax okay that's all there is to it that ding that you heard just a minute ago was my buddy Carmen from Ecuador raw and real it's crazy low coco loco guy I, I actually folks I'm gonna put a link to his channel in the description below go check this guy's videos out I, I did a video about him uh, a few weeks ago while we were on the way back from Waikil where he picked up his um, his cedula. This is the guy that has the LDAV, the uh, left LVAD, left ventricle assist device in his heart. His actual heart is basically in his pocket that keeps his heart going, keeps his blood flowing through his body. He has no pulse. He has this device that pumps the blood for him. But anyway, he's got a channel. Let's, let's go check it out for, for me, please. I'll tell you what. He just did a recent video of a tour of Mega Maxi. Go, go watch it because it's good. He, this guy, he does more in the street stuff and more actual on-site stuff than I do. I'm going to start doing that real soon myself, but he, he's already doing it. And he's entertaining to listen to. And his videos are, are entertaining. So check him out. It's Ecuador Raw and Real. His name is Carmen. He lives right here in Monta. He's a Canadian. He's a good guy. And let's give him some subscribers, okay? And go check him out, all right? The next time you interrupt my video, buddy, I'm going to come over there and kick your butt. <laughs> but anyway, no, I won't do that. I'm going to do that because I know you're disabled. I'll take your battery away from you. How's that? I'm going to pull your battery for a couple of seconds and see how you react. Uh, but anyway, no, that's no joking matter. I don't mean that. Um, so oh, anyway, well. All right. have it sent by U.S. mail. Now, when you when you send everything off to the Department of State, I, I would do it overnight. I mean, I, you want to get it there as quick as possible. But you can't have them FedEx it back. They won't do it, okay? You're just, you're just going to be at the mercy of the Postal Service, all right, which is better than what we got here which is nothing. So take your time, relax. I don't mean take your time. Time is of the essence, I know. And, but as soon as you get your documentation in, your FBI report, I'm not talking about your state background report, any of that stuff. I'm talking about your FBI report. Don't waste any time getting it in the envelope, get your request filled out, get it sent off to the Department of State immediately. And don't forget to get it notarized too, whether you don't, whether you need it or not. If you have any questions about that, check with your attorney. So, okay, so on to the next thing. You may be thinking to yourself, Don, what is that on your wrist? Well, oh, what, this right here? This, which I should be wearing all the time, but I don't because it's a little bit tight for me. But I'll put it up here. I don't know if the camera's going to focus on it or not. But anyway, this is a wristband, has echo assist on the back. The purpose of this band is to let anybody know in the event that I'm laying in the street unconscious or, you know, sitting in a beer joint somewhere and passed out, that in the event of an emergency, this wristband, I'm trying to dig it out of my pocket here to show you, I know I should have had all this prepared before I started the damn video, but I'm, I will, you know, I'm so unorganized. This is, this lets people know 
that I have one of these in my pocket. Okay, and what this is, this is a an emergency card. This is a card. It's a laminated card, like a credit card, that has my information, my vital information on it. It has my insurance. It has my cedula number. My it's all in Spanish too, by the way. Uh, my any special instructions or anything. My blood type. Who to contact in case of emergency? No. No, there's not that. You could probably write that on here somewhere. But anyway, this was provided to me by Equosys. There's a they they have a, I, I did a little clip here that shows how to get this. Okay, I think this is a good idea. I think every expat living here should have one of these in your pocket because if you have uh, something happen to you and you need emergency assistance. You know, you want somebody to know what to do, right? And if you have one of these on your wrist while you're out and about and something happens to you, hopefully the emergency responders or whoever, you know, responds to you to this event will see that and they'll know that you have this in your pocket and this is information that they need, okay? I have my pre-existing conditions, my allergies, my, uh, I don't have, they have a section here for preference for hospital. I put, uh, mine says false. It's all in Spanish. So there's instructions on here about who to contact at Equisist for any questions or anything. It has my picture on it, on the front. So, and the process that I went through to get this is I went online to Equisist website filled out all the information, and then I went to their office and I picked up this card. Um, as simple as that. That's all there is to it. So when you get here, folks, it's probably, especially if you have any kind of pre-existing uh, medical conditions, you, you might want to do this, okay? So it's called Information de Emergencia. Get it? It's at Equisist. So the last thing I want to talk to you about today was I'm thinking about buying a car, okay? I'm pretty sure that I'm going to buy a car. Uh, I feel like that for me to get the maximum benefit out of living here in Ecuador, I, I need to have more than basic transportation. For me, basic transportation is a taxi or the bus. I need more than that because I'm tired of being a prisoner in my apartment I want to actually get out and go do things. I want to explore. I want to take day trips. I want to go do more videos. I want to get out away from my apartment and get out of this city and go up and down the coast and go to the mountains and so forth. But anyway, I thought I'd start doing a little research and see about insurance. I wanted to see what insurance is going to cost me and, you know, what kind of coverage I can get. So I went to Blue Box this morning, talked to my friends over there, and... I got a couple of quotes and here I did a little clip here uh, to explain everything. So uh, it, you're going to be surprised at how really affordable it is. And, and even with the cost of insurance, I can buy a car here for, I can actually get a new car here for less than $20,000, not much less, but you know, I'm not saying that I'm going to run out and buy a new car, but I would get better rates on my insurance and everything. I'd have everything to gain by getting a new car and uh, not a secondhand one. But anyway, so watch the clip, and when I come back, I'll finish this video up. So here's the quotes that I got from Carlos at Blue Box on car insurance. Okay, here's the first one that I got. Uh, this $20,000 value here, this is like the value of the car. This is the insured object, okay? Um, this is from Sweden, Cia de Seguros, expats, insurance for expats. Not Seguros, I think that stands for security or something, but anyway, I don't know. But uh, since I don't have a car, they didn't have any other information to put in here. I'll, 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 I told them, I said, I'm going to try to find something. That's $20,000 or less, all right? The coverages are comprehensive coverage, any kind of accident, assault, rollover, explosion, fire, theft, total loss by theft, partial loss by theft, earthquake, look at there, earthquake, events of nature, malicious damage, coverage, 
all around all around all Ecuador strikes and riots civil commotion that's the coverages that I can have for this car patrimonial protection coverage coverage for traffic violations driving without a driver's license driving down on the influence of alcohol there we go and breaking traffic laws traffic laws do we have traffic laws here in Ecuador I think we do so anyway so the insurance coverage includes civil liability for fifty thousand dollars medical expenses two thousand dollars each person in the car personal accidents per occupant five thousand in your car crane coverage 200 kilometers and 250 dollars more if necessary in an accident i'm not sure what they mean by crane coverage is that towing i don't know what that is legal assistance in the accident 1500 $200 coverage each month for one year if the legal contractor died. Benefits without cost. If you have a ticket from EMO, the insurance company will pay $30. If you lose personal documents, the insurance company pays $30 to recuperate the documents. Plastic surgery in car accident, $1,000, US $1,000. Anyway, anyway, I'm not going to bore you. I'm not going to read all this to you, but the important thing is that I want you to see here if you want to see this actual document uh, send me an email and I'll send this to you I'll share it with you but here's the important stuff right here here's the cost $648 okay this all this insurance for 648 bucks they didn't even ask me about my age but $648 and guess what I can get a 10% discount if I pay cash so you pay up front. This is yearly cost, 648 bucks. I can pay cash, 10% discount, or I can pay by credit card, or I can debit from my bank account, six debits, okay? So I guess every other month they debit it from your bank account. And this is stuff that she told me that I need. For if it's a new car, I have to have an invoice for the car, and I have to have one of my electric bills. So... For a used car, I have to have it inspected, and the inspection is done by Blue Box. And then, meticulous photo. Uh, shoot, I asked them what that was, and now I don't remember what it was. And then, of course, a copy of electric bill. So, that's that policy. There's another policy that she quoted me. And this is, uh, oh, that's today's date. Insurance object. It's pretty much kind of the same coverage a little bit. I'm not going to bore you with reading you all this, but I think I'll show you what's important, the important stuff. If you want to see a copy of this, send me an email again, and I'll be happy to send this to you, and you can see it for yourself. This policy here is only $587.52. That's for a year. Pretty good deal. Pretty cheap. Of course, you know, my concern always is going to be, what about the other drivers and so forth? And I know that this, there's a lot of risk to having a car here. But you know what, folks? If you come here and you are in your apartment and you don't have a car, you lose that freedom to just get up and go where you want, when you want, how you want. And that's the reason why I want to get a car. So that's it. So that's it. That's all there is to it, folks. I uh, I have some new content coming up real soon. I'm going to do a couple more interviews here really quick. I hope you got something out of this. If you'd like this video, please give me a, a thumbs up. And if you like, want to make a comment or leave a comment, feel free to do so. If you want to send me an email, my email address is in the description below. Please don't ask me in the comment section what my email address is because it's in the description. If you don't have access to the description, I, you know, I don't know what to tell you. It's it, You have to click the little more, and that'll expand everything that's in the description. I don't know if you have you can actually have access to that on a phone, a cell phone or not, but you can on a laptop. But anyway, uh, feel free to, to write if you want to. Uh, if you don't like my video, you can leave a thumbs down and then go suck an egg, okay? See you on the next one. Ciao.
There are going to be times when I have a snack and I'm not going to share it with you, okay? So you can stop looking at me because this is one of those times. Oh, here she comes. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! <laughs> 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 <laughs>